Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass algebra. In this video we're going to go over the recursive formula by looking at three very different examples. So a recursive formula is a type of formula that forms a sequence based on the previous term value. So if that sounds a little confusing don't worry because we're going to go over an example and everything will make sense. So our first example we need to find the fifth term and we're given two pieces of information. So the first part translates to a sub 1 equals 2, and the second part translates to a sub n plus 1 equals a sub n plus 4. So these two pieces of information, we're going to be creating a sequence. So we're going to have different terms of the sequence, and they want us to find the fifth term. So let's break down what each part of this formula means. So the first part, a sub 1 equals 2, this just represents the first term. So there's always going to be an a sub 1 that's given to us, and it's always going to be the first term. So we have 2 as our first term in this sequence. And the next part is just going to be our formula that we're going to use to find each next term. So we need to find five terms here. So we know our first one is going to be 2. So a sub 1, don't worry too much about the notation here, that just means the first term. And, and this is given to us. So the first term, a sub 1 equals 2. The second term, we're, we're going to write it as a sub 2 equals, so now we're going to use our formula. So notice there's a sub n here. So what we're going to plug in is the previous term value, which is in this case is 2. So wherever there's a sub n, we put a 2. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. So now for our third term, we're going to be plugging in 6. So this becomes 6 plus 4 equals 10. Now for our next term, we have a sub 4, and plug in that 10 plus 4. So we're just taking each previous term value and using it to find our next term value. So our fourth term is going to be 14, and we need the value of the fifth term. So we're just going to take 14 and plug it into our, our last formula here, which is 18. So we get 18. So just just to uh, clarify what we're doing here is, uh, notice we, we made a little sequence and we could keep going, but they wanted the fifth term. So our sequence that we made using the information is 2, 6, 10, 14, 18. And we could keep going, but we, they just wanted the fifth term. So we stopped here. So notice this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and then our fifth term. So let's look at another example. This time we need to find the third term and we're given a sub 1 equals 1 and our formula is a sub n plus 1 equals 2 raised to the power of a sub n plus 1. So notice this is a little different because the exponent this time is now our a sub n. So let's write out what we know. So we know this is going to be our first term and then this is going to be our formula. So we need to find three terms, so let's start with what we know. The first term is just 1, and now to get our second term, we're just going to plug in 1 wherever there's an a sub n, So, which is in, in this case is an exponent. So right here we're going to put a 1 plus 1. So 2 to the first is 2 plus 1, so this is just going to be 3. And now a sub 3, we're going to take 3 and plug it into that exponent. So we get 2 to the third plus 1. So 2 to the third is 8 plus 1 equals 9. So this time our sequence ends up being 1, 3, 9. And again, we could keep going, but they just want to know the third term, which in this case is 9. So that's our answer. For example number 3, we need to find the third term again. But this time we're given something that might look a little different. We have a sub 1 equals 4, and then we're given a sub n equals 3 times a sub n minus 1 minus 2. So I don't know if you noticed, but if you look at our previous example, notice the uh, notation is a little different at the formula. So look, this was n, this is n now, but our previous example had n plus 1. Now have a sub n minus 1, and over here we had a sub n. So even though the notation is different, it's a recursive formula, and they're going to be solved the same exact way that we've been doing. So don't let the different notation confuse you. So, 
So we need to find the third term. We know this is going to be our first term. And then this is going to be our formula. So we have a sub 1 equals 4 given first term. Now we want to plug that 4 into our formula to find the next term. So three, this ends up being 3 times 4 minus 2. So 3 times 4 is 12. Minus 2 is just 10. And to find our, the last term that we need, the third term, we're just going to take, so we plugged in 4 here, and now we're just going to take 10 and plug it into our next term formula. So 3 times 10 minus 2. So this ends up being 30 minus 2, which just equals 28. And that's our answer. So just to keep the sequence part in mind with these questions, we made the sequence 4, 10, 28, and the sequence could keep going, but we just wanted to know the third term. So that's our answer. So here's a summary of all the examples we just went over with the solutions for anything you might have missed or you want to see again. And just something to keep in mind with recursive formulas is that they can have different notations. So you may see questions that look a little different, but know that once you see a recursive formula question, they're all going to be solved the same way. So don't worry too much about the notation. And if you want to practice more recursive formula questions like this, check out my blog. The link is in the description below. I have practice questions just like these if you want to check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Happy calculating! Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!